Hi, my name is Roisin Carroll and I'm an analyst here at Presidian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap row and column variables, some tips to tailor and edit your table, such as changing labels and increasing or decreasing decimal points, how to run t-tests and also how to build bar charts within custom tables using your means. This is particularly useful when you're building reports. We're using our survey sample data set like we did in the others. If you check back our previous videos, we go into how to build tables in depth and how to apply some formatting. So we're going to take across uh, labor and let me find hours of TV. So to build a t-test, I need a scale and I need a categorical. And I want to see the mean number of hours across our working status. In our data set. Now that's looking okay. Let's do a little bit of formatting. Let's do this quickly. Change that over to average. I'm going to keep that and I'm going to increase my decimal points. Let's add on a total and that's looking a little bit better. Now, if I run that out, it's going to give us a table with the number of hours of TV watched across each of our, whether you're working, unemployed, retired, and so on. Now, what I'd like to do, however, is to make it a little bit easier to read. I'm going to order that. So if I go into categories and I go into, I want to order it by mean TV hours, and I'm going to do that descending. Let's run that out. It's now told me that the highest amount of TV watched is in my group other, followed by unemployed laid off, followed by retired, and our school group are the ones that are watching the least amount of TV. Now, I don't know whether there is a statistically significant difference in the means. I can make a guess because I can see them visually here. Our other group is watching 4.56. Our lowest group is watching 2.34. But to check that out, I'm going to run a t-test. So if I go back in here to my test statistics, I can ask it to run compare column means, which is my t-test. I want the results in a separate table and I want it to show me the significance values. Now, one of the nice options is it has here Bonferroni, which is very important if I'm doing a multiple comparison t-test, it adjusts for that which is the case in ours. Now, if I run that out, you'll have noticed that it's not going to give me any result. It does give me a warning here. It says they are requested, but not eligible. So I need to change the order of my table and I'll show you how to do that now. So go back up to my tables. And all I need to do is right click and say, I want to swap my row and columns. That's not, now going to bring across all of my means, which is looking an awful lot better. Now, while I'm here, I don't particularly like this format. I'm going to say I want to change that to rows. Let's also add in a count because while I'm going to get the mean number, the mean hours of TV watched, I want to know how many people are in each group. But I don't want to say count, I want to just say n. I'll now be able to get a clearer picture of the number of people that are going into making up these means. It's now laid out very neatly and it's kept our ordering and it's told me I've got 54 people in this category and their average is 4.56. It's also given me the results of my t-test, pairwise comparison. And if you can see, anything underneath has lower means than our category A. So F, which is our working part-time, and if I check that out, it does seem to check out. I've got 2.69 hours, my G, is working full time, 
both of those you can see have smaller means than our other group. And it does that across the table, which is a neat little trick to be able to do. Now, let's go back to my table. And I want to run the same, but with multiple options here. So I'm going to take across number of children. I drop it down. I'm going to say, right, I want to say the same statistics. And it's going to populate across for me. I'm going to run that out. And now I've been able to do a means test with multiple variables. And let's check the mean of the hours of TV across my labour force, the mean number of children across my labour force. So it seems like my other group have 2.26 children, my retired have 2.64, unemployed have one child, and so on and so forth. It's also given me the results of my test down below. It's a really nice and really lovely formatted test, quite intuitive, quite easy to follow, quite easy to read. It's also got a strong statistical power behind it, backed up by Bonferroni. Now, I want to show you how to do a bar chart. So if I click in here, it's going to allow me to do some editing. Let's look at hours of TV. I'm going to click into average. And I say, I want to have my data cells. And let's do a bar chart and get rid of that. And that's now given me a lovely chart where I can visually represent the means across my different labour groups. This will be particularly useful when we start doing web reports in our next video. Now that you've seen our video, I will hope you'll be able to run your statistical tests within custom tables and be able to build a nice bar chart for visual aids in your reports. Don't forget to check out our other videos where we went into how to build a custom table, how to run chi-score tests, and our next video is going to look at how to produce a web report.